Pessoal, tá vendo essa figueira que está aqui atrás? Pois é, ela é uma figueira muito importante para os povos que moravam no vilarejo que ficava aqui nessa área. Hoje, aqui é o bairro de Westlands, um dos bairros mais novos de Nairobi, onde está cheio de prédio, inclusive de empresas de tecnologia, centros de pesquisa e uma área muito nova. E foi interessante, tentaram cortar essa árvore, só que não deixaram. Tiveram, inclusive, que construir tudo em volta dela, preservando, inclusive aquele viaduto lá, porque essa árvore é muito importante para as populações daqui. We are at what we call uh, Nairobi Westlands Market, mm -hmm. and it's a market where different vendors come and sell their items. But more importantly, on this floor, we have artisans or creators of what we call African cultural heritage items. And these are very special and maybe unique items, right? Yeah, actually, the majority of the items made here are handmade, mm -hmm. and they're made by artisans who are very uh, traditional techniques that they have learned from their fathers, they've been passed on the line. And you have created something that goes beyond tradition, right? Which is Mao. So Mau Africa is a marketplace platform yeah. uh, and it connects Africa's heritage art, artisans and creatives with world markets. Mm -hmm. So what we realize is as much as these artisans and creatives have been making this art for a millennia, yeah. their art is not easily discoverable. So we made, their platform, we made a platform where we can list their items and uh, people across the world can be able to discover and buy these items. What normally happens is, for example, an artisan like this that is doing uh, a fashion items, mm -hmm. they can go to the platform, create a an account, they get a uh, storefront or call a website, and then we help them market and uh, connect them with either businesses or sometimes consumers like yourself that want to buy these items. This has been an idea that has been brewing over the years. I've always been a creative, I have been a rapper, a fashion designer, <laughs> a writer, but I've always not been the creative arts. So after a while I gave up and uh, joined FinTech and worked in FinTech for a while. So when COVID hit and some of the artisans used to buy from called us and they were like, oh, we can't sell in markets anymore. Yeah. You guys have customers you can sell to. Because my co-founder worked uh, at Jumia, which is one of the biggest uh, e-commerce marketplaces in Africa. Yes. She had the idea of how do we come up with a platform where actually now it will be easy for artisans to, to also sell their items since they can't go to the physical markets anymore. So what we also do is add the stories on the website. So yeah. also when you buy, you connect to the story. Oh. So you understand how it was used in African culture, just to preserve those traditions and the fact that you're telling those stories gives more life to the vibrancy of the culture that we have here. I'd love to show you one of these very unique stalls. All right. And these are arts that have been collected all across Africa. So they, they have historical, how they were used. Wow. Then we have the uh, traditional ceremonial forms. Oh, wow. These were from Congo. All different tribes, but they have wow. different celebrations. So we have like those, we have, uh, we call them the marimba. Oh, you can call them some piano. Sure. These are the marimba from uh, Congo. You can actually play, oops. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah. This comb, you see now, this is a different comb. We have the comb, the comb from uh, the Dinka. This is a paint made of osso, tá, pessoal? Vem da tribo Dinka, que yeah. fica no Sudão do Sul. Incrível. In the Nivu, you go to the website, you ask, you, ask, you, you, you download Dinka tribes, the comb you see. So some of these you can actually buy online now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fantastic. Yeah, everything you can buy online, all this. Wow. What, all what is needed is, we have the photos. These are called the, the hand -breasts. They use like pillow. Oh, so when, when they braided their hair, mm -hmm. they didn't want to sleep flat to destroy it, so they sleep on this like that. So they call the necklace or a pillow. So it's incredible, pessoal, because the pessoal who's with cabelo arrumado, or doesn't want to arrumar the cabelo, can sit down on this and it won't be arrumado. Esse aqui é Maasai, aqui próximo do Quênia, e esse aqui é para armazenar leite. Inclusive eu cheirei aqui, ó, e tem cheiro de leite. Is this made from a tree? It's a, it's a fruit. It's a fruit. 
How did you do the development of the software, the web page? Was it easy to do it from here? My co-founder has a large IT background. She is very good at coding and creating platforms. So she was able to do that. But more importantly, Kenya is one of the, the Silicon Savannah of Africa. So internet is very easily accessible. Uh, guys are educated enough to learn how to use digital plan, uh, platforms. Payment platforms like M-Pesa have disrupted the whole payments industry. So working in this uh, tech hub, which is Nairobi, is, it's quite easy. There's a lot of support even from the states to establish a tech business. Oh, we, we envy you so much for yeah. that. Like, see <laughs> Brazil, we, we can do better. Tell me about being an entrepreneur and a woman here. Uh, how, how does it work? It's actually quite interesting because right now there are a lot of opportunities for female founders. There are funds that are being put aside. You're finding there are mentors that are willing to put in their time to mentor female founders. So there are a lot of female uh, entrepreneurs that are doing amazing work in Kenya, but not only in Kenya, all across the continent we are seeing female founders actually coming up and coming up with a very amazing businesses, yeah. That's so good. This is from West Africa, right? Yes, from West Africa. If I wear it, people won't be upset with me, no, like, no, uh, no, people no, will no. like that I wear people it, will right? like it, actually. Okay. They'll yeah. admire your creativity because this is just a shirt and you have done the patchwork. That's amazing. Yes. So nice, so nice. So, Emia, Emia, whatever, I'm going to take this. <laughs>